Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the rate of change of graphs. Okay, so the, we're going to do a, a few pages of notes together, and then you have a chance to uh, try some problems on your own. And at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So just a reminder about just what exactly is rate of change. All right. So remember, rate of change describes how one quantity changes, okay, in relation to another. All right. So here, our first problem, we're looking at um, selling coffee, okay? And one quantity is, is total sales, okay? And the second one is number of pounds, all right? So to find the rate of change of this linear graph, all right, what I did is I created like a four-step process, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this process a few times, and then you'll, you'll try some on your own here, all right? So step one, it says find two points that are easy to read, all right? So here we have a point right here, and also a point right here, okay? And those points are pretty clear uh, about where they stand on, on the coordinate grid, all right? Um, so this location right here is X is one and Y is two. So I'm gonna write down one and two. And the second point is two and four. So two and four, all right? And just a reminder that one is the X value and also that two is X value. Let's put a little X here. So that's our first X. This is our second x, and this is our first y value, and this is our second y value. All right. It's part two. It says determine the change in the y values from point one to point two. All right. So here we have a four for a y value, and here we have a two for a y value. So the amount of change, if I do four take away two, that gives us two. All right. Step three. It says determine the change in the x values from point one to point two, all right? Well, here point two is a, a two for x, right? And the x value for point one is a one. So the change, two minus one is one, all right? And then last but not least, it says write the red change as the change in y over the change in x, okay? So the change in y was two, and the, the change in x was one, so right here is our rate of change, all right? So for every one pound of coffee, all right, the total sales increases by $2. That's what that means, all right? Let's do another one together. If you turn the page, let's look at this one, all right? So here we have um, a graph, okay? The x-axis is the number of days spent reading, okay? And the y is number of page read, all right? So again, step one, find two points that are easy to read. All right, so um, I'm gonna take this point here, and that has an X value of two and a Y value of 200. So it's gonna be two and 200, that's our first point. And another point that's easy to read is this one over here. And that one has an X value of four and a Y value of, looks like 350. So that point is gonna be four and 300 and 50. All right. Step two, determine the change in the Y values from the, from the points. All right. So our second Y is 350. Our first Y is 200. So if I do 350 minus 200, our change is going to be 150 for the Y values. All right. Next, step three, determine the change in the X values from one point to the other. All right. So this one's easier to do. Our second X is four. Our first X is two. So four take away two is two, all right? And then last but not least, write the rate of change as a fraction. So the change in Y was 150 over, the change in X was two. I can make that a nice unit rate, right? Because 150 divided by two is gonna be 75 over one. And there's our rate of change, okay? So for every one day of reading, uh, we're reading 75 pages. All right, let's try one more. And this time we're gonna have a negative rate of change, all right? Because our line's going downward. So again, same process, find the uh, two points that are easy to read. So this one's not quite as obvious, but let's go with, um, how about this point right here? So that one has an X value of 25 and a Y value of 14. So we're gonna say 25 and 14. 
remember, you can use any points on, on the graph. And let's go with another one. How about right here? So this point right here has an X value of 50 and a Y value of 13. All right, that's step one. Step two, determine the change in the Y values. All right, so our second Y is 13. Our first Y is 14, okay? So 13 take away 14 gives us a negative one change, all right? Determine the change in the X values. All right, well our second X is 50. Our first X is 25. So 50 take away 25 gives us 25. And then last but not least, let's write the ratio here. Okay, so the change in Y was negative one and the change in X was 25. All right, so right here is our U, is our rate of change. So negative one twenty-fifths. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video, okay, and try the your turn problems now and use the same, the same four step process to determine the rate of change. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say do these practice problems, okay? So for this one, again, step one, find two points that are easy to read. So let's see, I would use this point here, okay, that has an X value of 10 and a Y value of 40. So it's gonna be 10 and 40. And I'm gonna use the second point, which is right here, and it's going to be 20 and 60. So we're gonna say X is 20, and Y is 60. All right, step two, determine the change in the Y values. So the change in Y values is 60 take away 40, which should have been 20. And then step three, determine the change in the X values. 20 take away 10, which is 10. And then last but not least, let's write the ratio. So the change in Y's is 20, and the change in X's is 10 and that reduces down to two to one. So that's our rate of change, all right? Let's try the last one. All right, here we have a graph about money earned, okay? So the x-axis is years played, and the y-axis is money earned uh, in millions, all right? So again, find two points that are easy to read. So let's go with, um, hmm, let's say this one here, all right? That's gonna be an x value of two, and a Y value of 30. So it's gonna be two and 30. And this one here is X is three and Y is 50. So three and 50. So the term of the change in the Y values. So 50 take away 30 gives us 20. Next step, uh, determine the change in the X values. Three take away two gives us one. And last but not least, let's write the ratio. So the change in Y is 20 and the ch over the change of X, which is one. Okay, so the rate of change is, okay, uh, the player earns $20 million for every one year of playing. All right, how'd you do?